In this video, we are going to demonstrate how simple and easy it is to integrate a software as service application through data virtualization using Denaro platform. As more and more organizations leverage the cloud-based software as service applications like Salesforce, ServiceNow, etc. for storing specialized business data, gathering insights from these data along with the data from other sources play a key role in the modern data-driven business intelligence and data analytics through software as service integration. For this demo, let's take an organization which uses Salesforce for its sales, date dimension data in Amazon Redshift, and customer details like personal information, demographics are all available on Aurora DB. Whereas the sentiment analysis of the customer was published as a delimited files on AWS S3 bucket. The business users request to provide them with a holistic view of data from customer perspective from which they can run analysis and gain insights. With the help of Denaro data virtualization, this becomes an easy task as you can connect to the needed data sources and create necessary views. Then integrate the views as per the requirement to build the report. We have modeled the final view sales by year with positive sentiment, which could produce the data as requested by the business. In this case, a summary of customer sales per year with positive sentiments by combining the data from four different cloud-based source systems. Before we show and brief you on the final view, let's see how the data sources are connected in Denaro. Let's get started. The Virtual Data Port Administration tool, which is a development studio that allows connecting to data sources and model data. As each cloud source would require different access method, let's see each one of them and how they are connected. Now, open Aurora data source, which has the customer complete information. As Aurora DB provides JDBZ connector to connect, we leverage the JDBZ data source in Denaro. You can choose the database adapter, provide the driver path, driver class, database URI, along with the appropriate login credentials. Finally, name the data source and save it. Likewise, you can also connect to Amazon Redshift, which has the date dimension data using the JDBC driver provided by the AWS. For connecting to Salesforce, Denaro platform provides an inbuilt connector. The Denaro Salesforce connector supports web server as well as user password flow to establish a successful connection. Again, for this demo, we have chosen the authentication type as user password flow. For that, you need to provide the client identifier, client secret, and then user identifier, password, and then security token appropriately to establish successful connection and bring the Salesforce object into Denaro. To connect to AWS S3, you need a custom wrapper, which is available for download in Denaro support site. We have a detailed video available on our YouTube channel. You can find the video link to how to connect to Amazon AWS S3 from Tenona platform in the details section of this video. So far, we have seen how simple it is to connect to disparate data sources. As the required sources and views are created already, let's open the final view sales by year with positive sentiment, which is already created to integrate the data as per the business users need. In the model tab, you can see the data model and how the different views are integrated. Store underscore sales represents the sales data from Salesforce. Date underscore dimension contains the date information from Redshift. And customer underscore with underscore sentiment has customer information along with the sentiment details, which is an intermediate view that integrates customer data from Aurora DB and sentiment information from the delimited file in the Amazon S3 bucket. The relationship between views can be defined as joins in join condition tab. 
the customer key from store sales is joined with the customer sentiment and date key from store sales is joined with date dimension. In the VAR conditions tab, a filter is applied to retrieve only preferred customers. Then in group by tab, an aggregation is applied on the customer key, name, sentiment and year. In the output tab, you can select the required fields, apply any transformation and aggregation to produce the final view as required. In our case, we have created a new aggregate field called total underscore sales, which provides the sum of net underscore paid from store underscore sales view. Provide a suitable name and save the view. In order to execute the view and see the integrated results, click the execution panel on the top right side. In the execution tab at the bottom, click on the execute button on the right. As the results are received, you can see them being displayed in the output tab. Thank you for watching this video. Hope you learned how easy it is to integrate a software as service sources using Denaro data virtualization.